I am live. Woo live in a Pink Floyd t-shirt today. And drinking Pepsi Max out of my vintage things. Mm. Oh, that's better. Ah. Um, right, good morning to you all. Um, I did say yesterday that I was going to do this this afternoon, like this haul, but um, I'm having a listing day today and it was all like ready here for a haul video and I was like, but if I go take it away and list it, I'm just going to pack it straight away and then I won't do the haul. So I figured I'd do the haul and then I can get on like with doing all the listing and stuff afterwards. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my brains anyway. Um, so I shall say some good mornings. I know a couple of uh, ladies can't join me because Sue, well, Sue might have me on in the background, I don't know, but um, Sue is is um, online auctioneering and stuff. So that's cool. And Carla's out with, with mummy. Not my mummy, her mummy. Be a bit weird if she's out with mine. Right, so I'll say some hello. So hello, uh, Nia, who was first in. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Sam. Hi, Laura. Um, hey, Tasty. Hey, Christine. Hey, Chris. Hey, Becca. Um, hello, Queenie, mother of Norman. Hi, Pink Harpy. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Jane. Um, oh, God. Okay, and it, it uh, right, it just jumped a bit. Hi, Helen. Um, hi, Peter. Hi, <laughs> I do like that clay goal attack click canes. That's hilarious. Um, hi, uh, Gillian or Gillian? Gillian. Hi, Joan. Obviously, I go live, and and Azami comes and joins me. Obviously. Um, hi, Heather. You've come here to learn, really. Oh. Oh dear. Um, hi, Claire. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Cassie Carl. So how are you all this morning? Um, oh, I see I'm clashing with Shelley. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Like I, I asked in uh, in the chat, like what, like if anyone else was going live. Oh, and I just had a sale. That's cool. Ah, balls. Sorry, if you want to go and watch Shelly, I don't mind. Um, yeah, it's just going to be me going, Azami, will you get off for about half an hour? So, Azami, you know I love you so, so bloody much. I really do. I love you more than anything else in the whole entire world. I really, really do. But for 20 minutes, can you, can you go and sit up there? And she says no. <laughs> Andrea Proctor, that's a new name. Oh, and hi, Fat Girl Sewing. I meant to reply to you about something. You were right with the Doctor Who quote. Yes, you were right. It was it was from um, that episode of Doctor Who. So, congratulations, you win. You win all of the prizes. Well done. Right, I, um, yes, so as I was saying, I've got a haul to show you before I start listing it. Has me. Oh, you're comfy, are you, Joan? Lovely. Yes, you do have to go to that, um, like that uh, hospice place. It's it's cool, and there's like new stuff. Like I wouldn't even say every day. There's new stuff like every ten minutes. It's crazy in there, but really, really good. Right, first purchase I will show is the mirror, which if you've seen my vlog, um, that's what I bought for four pounds. So it's like a golfer lady. And a car. I think it's like 1980s, possibly. You can see my whole living room. Um, I'm gonna put that down there in case I knock it over while doing the haul because I had a a thing. Blink. That's the one. Um, someone in France is selling one on Etsy or has sold one on Etsy for 45 euros. So that's an all right start, isn't it? It's bloody big and it'll be a nightmare to post. So just, you know, wrap it in a bin liner, send it by Hermes, put fragile tape around it. I'm sure they'll treat it with, with utmost respect, won't they? For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I was in my favorite Emmaus yesterday, which is the Puthcall one. I obviously love the Bridgend ones as well, but the Puthcall one, 
for some reason it just has like a different feel it feels a little bit like a flea market antique type place hi gimbal um oh and and hi sherry um so yeah it just feels a little bit more niche kind of cool i don't know why and they've got nice furniture in there and there was a lovely drinks cabinet which i'm quite tempted by yeah um uh, wasn't the 80s yeah exactly the 80s is just like a mishmash of everything isn't it a lot of 30s and 20s style stuff and and then 50s style stuff oh hi Antoinette how are you today um I'm glad you you liked things yay oh and hi Claire um so I did go um I went to two Emmaus's yesterday the one in Puthcorn and the one in Bridge End the one in Bridge End I ended up spending 20 quid on a bunch of thimbles and six thimble racks. So 20 quid on them. I had a quick look through. These thimbles, there's about 200 of them and I'm just gonna auction them off as a, you know, I can't be bothered. These thimbles should get me about 60 quid. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Oh, and the thimble rack should get me around about eight quid each. But yeah, there's some, there's some nice thimbles. There's obviously, there's an owl. A little enamel now. Hi, Sarah. Uh, we've got Tempire State Building. That's all to say it. It's Tempire State Building. Um, I'll show you that one last. I've got um, this could be Caithness, but um, Midafiori top one. That should be about a tenner. Crazy, isn't it? A nice sterling silver one with like flowers on. It is stamped, but I can't quite see what the proper... It's got full English hallmarks. I just can't work out what the full English hallmarks are. Uh, I've got some... And then, like, three cute Christmassy sort of ones. So there's one with, like, a little robin, and then one with a Christmas tree, and that's by Silver Scenes. And then there's one with a little articulated rocking horse on it. So I'm going to sell them as, like, a little bunch together because they're quite cute and Christmassy themed. And then bizarrely, the one that's worth the most is this one, previously sold for eighteen pounds for one thimble. One thimble, crazy, isn't it? But that is museum collection Charles Voisey. There's no place like home. Sold for eighteen pounds. So nearly all my money back on one bloody thimble. Bonkers. E, there's money in them. They thimbles. And then, um, because I was joking with the, because. The manager told me to come back in like yesterday afternoon. He's like, oh, we're on a big delivery. I like, okay, so I'll come in then. And then so I went in there about like three o'clock, half two, three o'clock. And um, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Lex. Like, we're, we've been short staff today. I, I've only had a chance to get out like one crate and there's a, an, another seven out back. And I was like, don't worry, I'll jump on tail. And uh, you crack on with that. And he's like, oh, no, seriously, can you come and volunteer with us? And I, okay then so yeah i'm gonna go and help them out i'm only gonna do like one day a week and preferably not shop floor because the idea of me working in customer service again like face to face makes me feel a little bit queasy i will be honest you know like i've done many years and i'm not all of that tempted to go back really but there we are <laughs> um I did go around a few other places in Puthcall as well, and I bought, and there was the table sale on. That's okay, Kelly, you're allowed to, to you know, pop out, that's fine. I did buy £18 on all of that jewellery, um, there's some nice bits in there, but I will show them in another video. You know the kind of videos where I show you my sparky bits. So I'll show them in another video, and right. Shall we do clothing? Clothing, okay. A very nice condition, North Face. North Face is an extra large, men's extra large. And this was four pounds. In very, very good condition. Hi Sophie, it doesn't even smell of, you know sometimes you get these coats and they smell slightly of like damp. Doesn't even smell like that. Um, so I worked in retail for 20 years, not sure how I could, yeah, like I know what you mean, my sort of fear is, and this is what my doctor told me once, she once signed me off, 
like on the sick. This is when I was working in Blockbuster, I think. Hi, Junie D. And oh, hi, Andrea. And she was like, um, she goes, I was like, you, you need to not work. Um, well, she didn't say pressurized or stressful or anything. But I'm the kind of person that takes my work home with me. And now I have it at home. Oh, the irony. Um, and I do get stressed about it, even though it's actually not important. It's not important how many bags of popcorn you sold or you, you know what I mean? But I am that kind of person. And and she was like, you need to not work in a place like that ever again. You need to like, like don't ever put yourself in a position where you can get promoted. Cause it's just like, I know what you're like. You'll go get a job and you'll get promoted. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Because that's what I do. So my sort of stupid, silly fear of going to volunteering is like, what if they want me to actually work there as like a paid job? Hi, Karin. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't want the responsibility. That was the word. She says, don't have a job with responsibility. So I don't want a job with responsibility. So that's what I'm going to try and explain to the manager. Is like, I don't want your job at all. But I some sometimes might slip into the I will organize this place and sort it out. Not like they will need it, but you know what I mean. Like I don't want to go into that. I don't want to slip into that feeling managerial again because I just can't. I can't. And yeah, I do. I absolutely do have the choice. It's just some there's there's a thing. There's like that work ethic thing that I'll turn up and I'll go like, right, I've got to get all this delivery done. I don't have to get all this delivery done. You know, it is not my responsibility, but I will probably end up taking it on and go, and then I'll start resenting it. And, and I don't want that. I want to go in, help out, make things pretty, you know, serve until while someone has a break for it to be nice and chill, you know? Yeah, exactly. They, they, and they, and I know it'll happen. I know they'll go like, oh, go on, just, just, you know, just do this and we'll pay you this. And I'm, no, no. No. Um, it's the rude customers who buy value cider and want 10 bags per bottle. For, why do they want free bags? That's bizarre. Um, yeah, Claire, that's what I said. I'll, I'll check it. I, I said to them, I won't be able to do like December and January anyway, because like I'll be having my insides ripped out. Um, um, but like I'll do. One day a week until then, and then we'll review it again, like afterwards. Anyways, haul, bloody hell, you guys, right, clothing. Um, I got this for three pounds, and there's no labels in it or anything, but it's like a very much, you know, like a, a smoking, jaggedy lounge type dressing gown, you know? So I thought it was fun anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm worrying about it before I even start there, and I should just, you know, chill, isn't it? It's just, it's just turning up and helping with delivery. That's it. And the guy won't be my boss. Like I can just go, no, I'm all right. You know, whenever I want, I suppose. But it's just that that mental thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, a vintage St. Michael's velvet skirt. This is from 1995. So nice long velvet pencil skirt. Very sexy actually, a little bit dominatrixy. Very nice. A vintage 80s, I would say, CNA tartan skirt. That was three pounds by the way. And oh no, two pounds, and this is two pounds. Um so Karen say that's what I liked about volunteering. I didn't know I should just, just not give him one job at a time, so I didn't get overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. I'll say like, look, I'll do like I don't know, four hours on a Thursday once a week, like in the morning, help with delivery and stuff, like not the heavy lifting. Like he wants me there to go like, right, that's worth stuff. That isn't worth stuff. Oh, I'm buying that stuff. You know that kind of thing. Send that bit to eBay, like for their online eBay store that kind of thing, you know, because he knows that, that I know stuff. <laughs> yeah, nice um, pleated vintage skirt there. 
This was three pounds. This is Colours of Barley. I don't know if this is a thing, but I really like the print on it. So this like proper Hawaiian like tiki print. And I thought that was quite cute. They're like almost like Easter Island heads, you know, but it's like those tiki carved wooden head dudes. Um, I think, Heather, did you get one of these the other day? This cost me three pounds. Um, it's, you know, like a Del Boy kind of sheepskin coat, but I think it's a woman's one, I think. How do women, yeah, that's a woman's one, isn't it? I think so. But it's in really nice condition. Um, made in England, acrylic lining, yeah, size 12. So nice women's one. What's that, Sophie? I used to volunteer for the RDA once a week and it was so chilled out. Yeah, that's what I want. Just like turn up, cup of tea, sort stuff out for them, go that, that and that, that, that and that, you know. Cover on till for a little bit, have a chat, maybe do a display of things, you know, just, yeah. Uh, some size, what are these? 18 Joe Brown's jeans. Are they selling? Oh, excellent. The Joe Brown's jeans, they're like um like the baggier ones. I think they'll be too big on me. Shame I'm I am looking for some baggy jeans, but I'm very difficult with jeans. But yeah, these cost me two pounds. This should be alright. Size 18 jeans. Joe Browns. Um Where's this from? This is from 10 of us. This is in their half price-ish sale. It was 89, reduced to four pounds, but this is a Jaeger, is it cotton or linen? Like one of those artist smock things. Sue, you're meant to be on your auctions. Get back, you bugger. Um, right, it's gonna say cotton now, isn't it? Yeah, 100% cotton, size 14. Yeah, one of those like artist smock things and it's got the pockets at the front. So that's all right, four quid. And then I'm happy with this one. Um, this was four pounds as well, reduced from eight ninety nine. But this is a bit of vintage Laura Ashley corduroy dress. So a nice dark blue, like navy cord. Um, what size is that? It says a size 16, but we all know that's bollocks. That's size 12 to 14. Uh, yeah, maybe size 12. But yeah, nice uh, bit of vintage Laura Ashley there. Maybe 70s? don't know. It says made in the UK, but not made in Wales. So I don't know when that would be. Right. Other bits, I'll show you a dud, which is this. It was 99p and it's our adventure book and it's got that picture on the back. So I thought that that was from Up, but then I've looked online and there's loads of them. They're selling for like seven quid, including postage. So, and it doesn't say Disney or anything from it. So I think I slightly messed up on that one, but it's still not, it's not awful. I'll still sell it on the same price that other people are selling it at. So not an entire dud, it's just not a huge amount of profit, you know. And then the other dud, I think, for 50 pence, I bought like a pack of stuff and it has 10 packs of these Lego things and someone is selling 10 packs of these for 2 95 including shipping. So from 50p, that's not exactly any profit. And then it's just got random stickers in there don't know what these are from bin weevils no idea and then xenox and then some i think ben 10 tattoos so you know but um i'll still i'll still whack them on because you know someone out there will want lego stickers won't they they will Got a nice clock, which they put as a 1930s Art Deco mantel clock, but I think it's a little bit later than that. I haven't tested it yet. It's a wind-up one, but I think that is, like, proper smart. Um, no, I, I, I 
I don't really look up the prices and um I, I tend to buy things that I think like oh that's nice and just hope that there's someone else out there that thinks the same. <laughs> and then when I try and branch out and go like, okay, I'll buy something to do with Lego or I'll buy like Pokemon cards. I haven't bought Pokemon, but you know, when I was like, I tried something new, a lot of the times, like with that, it just goes, no, that's nothing. And go, ah, that's, that's why I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so it just confirms my disbelief in myself. But yeah, nice mantle clock. It's a wind up one. <gasps> That's Andrea's buying strategy too. Yeah, it's like, it's like, if I like it, I mean, surely, surely someone out there <laughs> will be as weird as me. And it's probably Andrea. It is a serious clock. It's a, Oh, hi, Sally Kelly. Yes. But I think it's quite nice. It's got a little bit of just wear to the, like, the black at the bottom. But I think that's a that's a handsome clock. And that cost me three quid, four quid. I think it's worth it. I think that's dead nice. What's the tattoo on your neck? Do you design your own? I've got, um, I've got fire walk with me across the back of my neck, and that's from Twin Peaks. That's um, it's a poem by David Lynch. Um, between the shadows of between the shadows of futures past, the magician longs to see. One chance out between two worlds, fire walk with me. And then behind my ear, I've got the Tim Burton pincushion queen heart. So it's a heart with like pins in it. And that's from, I think it's from the pincushion queen, which is, how does the poem on that go? Um, no, I can't remember it now. Yeah, the new Twin Peaks was beyond weird, wasn't it? Like beyond, that was. I mean, something about a teapot and like what the crazy. Um, oh, she knows she has a curse on her, a curse she cannot win. For when someone gets close to her, the pin stick further in. I am so emo, so emo. <laughs> I did do well with the boy stuff, and that was very much out of my comfort zone, absolutely. But. Um, when I, I, I just, the, the amount that there was for the price that they wanted for them, I was like, I can't lose on this. Even if I just sell the whole lot on, unchecked, I know I'm going to make a profit. And then I saw like, oh, 90s on there. And, you know, if, if it had said 70s on there, I'd been like freaking winner. You know, I'd be retiring. But I thought, okay, 90s. And I recognize some of the things. So, yeah. Right. Um, a... Silver hairbrush, it's got Birmingham hallmarks there. <laughs> oi, oi, why are you calling me Bexy, you swine? How's the kale? I had kale from our garden the other day, fresh, put in the air fryer, like picked out the leaf and just went, oh, oh my God, so good, so good. But yeah, this is cool. It's got like, is it like old father time? I think. Anyway, some dude in there. Some dude. A really handsome silver brush. This would have been part of a set, apparently. Uh, it's not too old. It's 1981 is the hallmark. But the maker is a good one. I can't remember who the maker was. B and Co. Broadway. Broadway Silversmiths. And the set, so it had a comb with it in a box. It's gone for like 50 something and the brush on its own has gone for like 30 something. So I'm happy with that because it's really smart. I'll polish it up a little bit, but I'll still leave some of the, the patina on it. It's got a lovely bird at the top there and stuff. So that's that's quite quite a handsome brush that I do like that. Um, another handsome thing for three pounds. Got a Burwood box, nice cigar box. <laughs> hey Z, that brush looks like it could have had powers. Yeah, like only the right person can pick it up and use the brush. Hi Indy, how are you? Um, yeah, so lovely. It's got a few dings to the top, like, but not not like chunks gouged out, just like your regular, 
use, you know, mild scratches and things, which I'm sure you could probably polish a lot of them through. Nice soft surface there. And yeah, it definitely smells like, oh, it smells lovely actually. Hi Leanne. Yeah, it smells really nice. So um, yeah, really lovely handsome box, probably for cigars or like tea or something. Um, uh, you're not allowed into Wales. We've put the wall up. <laughs> um, I'm guessing people are, have, have come in from Shelley's because um, I'm guessing because there's, there's been a little influx of, of peoples. Yes. So I'm guessing she's probably finished by now. So apologies. Um, Excalibur, yeah. Like, it's like, like Thor with his hammer. Like it's really heavy to everyone else and Thor just goes, hey up. Um, so it's exactly how it goes. So yeah, that was three quid. That I've sold, I've sold two beer wood boxes before, but none, none of them that big. I sold a, a little one about that big, um, for about sixteen pounds, I think. So that one should do well. Spent a pound on this. That's um, like a little sewing box, little wicker rattan sewing box made in the UK. So that's cool. Like flowers on the top. Here we go. What's that? You've had a, I've had a peek. Quite tortoiseshelly that, but yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I'll come and deliver you some kale and that sounds perfect. Honestly, perfect. I had to go four days without kale the other week when I was still quarantined. Um, this one cost me three pounds. Bortnam and Mason teas. So it's got it's a tea caddy with like three little thick teas in it. These two have still got their teas. This one's an empty one. But yeah, Fortnum and Mason teas. I just don't know if there's a date on it. It says that, but I don't know if that's like the use by date or whatever, you would decline a kale delivery. You're crazy, Z. Kale's amazing. Um, but yeah, Pacton is exported by the Bush Tea Company Limited, Park Street, Calcutta, India, on behalf of Fortnum and Mason. So I don't know if this is vintage, like if, as in, like, is that from 1983? Because it looks terribly good condition, and maybe I don't want to drink the tea. Actually, no, it'll be all right, wouldn't it? But yeah, so that's all right for three quid, even if it's just, you know, a display thing, isn't it? I'd rather eat my own earwax. Hmm. Possibly not quite as healthy. <laughs> and okay, just little bits to go now. These are a pound each. These are from Skinny Dip. Um, and they're just, they're bath waffles bath waffle so somebody is gonna um get some of them because they're waffly versatile although but well, i probably be I'd probably be allowed to get into these i might have one and not have one you know um oh a peak lively meaning shelly's peeps had popped in yes um and then this cost me two pounds, a little bit of Welsh wool, a little Welsh wool purse, red one. So that's cute. Um, I don't know if it'll go for much, probably only about like 12 pound or something if that, but it's nice because it's red. Um, Cause I said I'd volunteer, um, you'll give uh, the, the manager give me a necklace for free. So that's like a 1970s one. So that's quite cute. A rather fitting because it was the 11th of the 11th yesterday. So um, in the window of the Puff Call Animal Welfare Society shop, they had this for four pounds. Now this is Caithness, Caithness glass. Hi Mike. And it's very pretty paperweight uh, with a poppy in it. Isn't that lovely? 
that's very fitting. It's the Kitchener's Paperweight World War One poppy. So I thought that's a sign, isn't it? It's a sign. So I bought that. And then these were 50 pence each, and these were my last things. These were on the table sale. Um, yeah, 50 pence each, and this is just a bit of mid-century Danish. Still in its box, never used. They've had previous price stickers on from whenever they've tried to sell it before and it's never sold, but I'll clean them off. They're nice, like they've never been used, so that'll be teak and stainless steel. So yeah, a pair of candlestick holders and a salt and pepper, like still in their original boxes. And that, apart from the jewellery, which I'm not going to show you now because that's that's for another time in another video. Um, yeah, that is everything that I had. So, chin chin, and I shall have a drink. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I spent £120 yesterday on all of this. Only 18 quid of it was on jewellery. That's right, isn't it? But in that 18 quid of jewellery, I've got two gold bits and six silver bits, I think. Yeah, something like that. So I, d I, did, I did well on the jewellery as well. And, and I do like my little hairbrush and I like my, my Burwood box and my Fortnum and Mason tea and, and everything. I like everything that I've bought. Hooray. Right, um, I'm gonna leave you to it now because I also have to go and get on with listing all of this. So um, for those of you who missed the beginning, feel free to, to go back and take a look. Um, or not, I don't mind. But yes, um, I will be doing a Sparkly Bits video soon, but my box is only half full, so I'm going to wait until I've got more stuff in there to show you. But yeah, so I'm going to get on, and until next time, I'm going to hit the end broadcast button in a sec. You all have a lovely day, and I shall speak to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.